In this video, we are going to learn about activating the SAP Fury apps for SAP Business Role via the task list SAP Fury Content Activation. You can use the task list SAP Fury Content Activation for SAP Business Role to specify one or more business roles delivered by SAP and then automatically generate and activate these roles in the system. We would now go through the steps. Click on Generate Task List run once you have entered the task list. As you can see that here it allows you to select one or more business role as a part of this activation. We can select one or one of the rows and save this entry. As an example, we will try to take a role for AP manager. Just select the line item and click on save. You can select multiple rows as well as a part of this activation. Additionally, as a part of this task list execution, the relevant O data as well as the ICF service are also automatically determined and started. As you can see in the steps, determine O data and ICF services for the role and activation of the O data service. This steps also allows you to generate the business role with the prefix. The role which we have selected for the activation, we can add a prefix to it. We'll try to add a prefix to the role. Let's give the prefix name as ZC as we are using the composite role. Save this entry, get back to the initial screen. One of the most important feature of this step is that it also allows to create user associated with the business role. Since we have already selected the business role for the activation, we can also using this step, we can also create a test user and assign the role would be automatically assigned to that user. We will try to select this step and enter, enter the necessary parameters. The parameters which would be required to enter are the user prefix. It is the, the test ID which would, be, which would be created in the system. So we can give the prefix as starting with T. We would let it as it is and then we would enter the password for the user. Also, you can add uh, the additional role assignment. Here, we would only consider the role which is required for the SAP Fury Launchpad. We would enter the role ZFLP user, which was created as a part of the task list execution SAP Fury Foundation S4 in one of our previous videos. We would just save this selection. Get back to the initial screen. And now we can run this task list either in the dialog or in the background. We would try to run this task list in the background. The task list helps to activate all SAP Fury apps, including the O data service as well as the ICF node based on the selected business role. We can click on refresh task list run to check the number of steps which are being activated in the system. This task list also helps you to create a business role using the prefix as per your customer namespace. And this task list is only for the SAP standard business role. If you are working for a custom role, like if you have created a role as per your project namespace, then you can use the task list, which is SAP Fury FCM content activation. This, ta this task list comes very handful when you are working in a sandbox environment and you need to give a test ID based on the business roles. As an example, if you are creating for finals and there, uh, there are multiple uh, role selection which you need to make, then you can add all those roles 
instead of selecting one role and at, that role would be automatically assigned to the test ID which you can hand over to the functional team or the business users in order to test the Fiori Launchpad features. Upon the execution of this task list run, we would also try to log on to the user in the system and, and test the Launchpad features. We will try to see if the uh, execution is successful. As we can see that some of the steps have already been completed and we would wait for the other steps to be completed in the system. One of the prerequisite for running the task list SAP Fiori content activation is the SAP Fiori Foundation S4 which is initial setup for the SAP Fiori application in S4 HANA must be executed in the system which we have already covered in the previous video. It is always recommended to start the task list in the background as if you are selecting one or more uh, business role, it would start giving system dump in the system. This task list would automatically activate the SAP Fiori Launchpad content as well as the OData and the ICF services assigned for the particular business role. And if you want to deactivate the ICF service later on, you can use the tra transaction code SICF as well as if you want to deactivate any of the OData service, you can go to the transaction code IWFND main underscore service for the deactivation of the uh, OData services. Since this task list has to perform multiple steps such as activation of the OData services as well as the user creation and the role, cre uh, role uh, as well as the role creation with the template, it might take some time and we would just wait to see the logs upon the execution of the task list run. As you can see that all the steps are now completed in the system and below are the results. We would now try to log in to the user which has been created as a part of this step and test the uh, launchpad feature and see how the account payable manager can be used in the system. We would first try to search for the user which has been created. As we know the prefix is T and it is an AP manager role. So we'll, we can just mention as a AP And this is uh, one of the role, uh, user which has been created as a, pa a part of this content activation. If we go to the display, we could see that this has been created now and uh, the account payable manager role has been assigned to this user. Along with this, the role ZFLP user has been assigned. We would now try to log on with this user in the system and test the launchpad feature. So this steps become very useful when you are using this uh, try to use the launchpad feature for demo purpose or uh, handing it over to the business users in order to get them an overview of the SAP Fiori launchpad. You can enter the credentials which you had provided during the and while you were entering the parameters during the task list run. And as we can see now, the task list execution was successful and 
the role has also been activated in the system the account pay the user has been created and assigned with the account payable manager role and also one more feature is you using the settings option you can change the layout as you can now see the layout consists of catalog and group and you can make a selection here to change it to this, the spaces and pages since it is an initial load it would take some time for all the apps to be loaded in the system go to the settings click on spaces and pages and click on use spaces and now we would see that the layout would completely change as a part of s4hana 2021 the my home option is available where you can add all your favorites apps to the page you can go to the edit page make a selection as per your uh, the predefined tiles as an example i'll just add one tile just close this once you have added and you would see that it would up appear in under the my homes and now as you can see the account payable space with the pages such as payment analytics as well as the current settings has been assigned to the user this is how we can use the rapid activation to activate the sap standard business rules thank you for watching this video and i hope it helps you to understand the concept of execution of the task list and how we can use these features to quickly deploy the fury apps for the sap standard business rules